Hi everyone, I'm Bob Ruggiero, Vice President of Communications for Quilts Incorporated, and we're here with another exclusive interview with the winners of our 2021 Festival Judge Show. And with us today, we have Ms. Kestrel Michaud. She is the eQuilter Master Award winner for Contemporary Art, and that's a $5,000 prize sponsored by eQuilter.com. We're gonna go ahead and show everyone her amazing quilt right now and tell you a little bit about it. So this quilt is Leap of Faith. And in Kestrel's artist statement, she says, in the steampunk fantasy world, men and women have taken to the skies on ships held aloft by hot air, ingenuity, and luck. Faith's favorite pastime is bungee jumping off the side of her airship with Bubo, her pet clockwork owl. This quilt depicts the photo Faith took on her latest jump to test her brand new camera and a selfie stick. So Castro, welcome. First of all, congratulations on the prize. You must be pretty excited about that. Oh my goodness. I was completely losing it when Becky called me. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go back a little bit and tell me a little bit about how you first got interested in quilting and more importantly, what kept you interested in quilting? So I didn't, I started working with fabric before I even knew about art quilting. I started making pictures out of fabric. They were fused fabric pictures, but no stitching. Um, gosh, 18 years ago at this point, I was a junior in high school. And it wasn't until um, I went through college or high school, I went through college, I have a four year degree from the Ringling College of Art and Design and Illustration. And it wasn't until 2017, just a couple years ago, that I met the state, the Florida State Representative from SAQWA, Studio Art Quilt okay. Associates. And she saw my work hanging in a gallery and said, hey, your work is pretty close to quilting. You should come to a meeting. And that opened the wide world of art quilting for me. So I bought a sewing machine in 2018. And that's when I made my first quilt, 2018. That's a great, that's a great story. So <laughs> tell me a little bit more about the inspiration behind this quilt. Are you, are you a fan of steampunk? How did the idea come to you? Yes, yes. So steampunk is my favorite subgenre of fiction. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, steampunk in a nutshell is Victorian science fiction. It's like if humanity was back in the midst of an industrial revolution focused around steam power, what would science fiction look like at that time? And so that's kind of where, you know, the steampunk genre has has um, separated from what actually happened in human history and you know, that's where the fantasy part comes into play. And it means a lot to me personally, because I, it is just such a fun subgenre of fiction. It's fun to make up machinery that would never actually work in real life because it's all theoretically steam powered, but it looks like it could work. And it's, you know, my own personal world that I've got floating around in my head has mythical creatures and it's got, you know, the crazy airship that Faith is bungee jumping off of. Um, it's got clockwork animals. It's got these two critters running through a steampunk junkyard. Uh, it's got Rose, uh, one of the other crew members of the, sh the ship that's depicted in Leap of Faith. So it's just a very fun world. And so all of my quilts these days tend to be scenes from what's happening in this imaginary steampunk world. Tell me a little bit about the, the design and, and the technique and, and how you physically put the quilt together. So the technique that I used is a my own modification on fused raw edge applique. So I use Wonder Under as my fusible. The entire thing is stitched uh, raw edge style. So all of the edges are visible. And I've cut, gosh, let me think. I think she has about 1500 pieces of fabric in the it's 55 by 36 inches and she's got about 1500 pieces of fabric and all of them were cut on my Cricut cutting machine so I draw I have this I have the idea I sketch it by hand in an app called concepts on my iPad I take that sketch that outline into Adobe Illustrator and make a full color full size piece of artwork piece of vector artwork and then I go through each individual piece and design the overlap because when I initially do my template, it's more like a jigsaw puzzle. Mm -hmm. You know, the edges perfectly meet. They, there's no overlap <laughs> yet. So I have to go and add all of that overlap myself. And then I export SVGs from Illustrator to my Cricut cutting software and let the machine do all the cutting for me. And at no, that this point, is 
No. I know this is going to be one of the quilts that people will see at the show in Houston and go, wow, that looks like a painting. And mm -hmm. it's quilts like these that, to me, really expand the boundary of what quilting can be to, to most people. Do you feel that way when, when you do something like this project? Yes, definitely. I have found, you know, I'm a trained illustrator. I have a four-year degree in illustration from Ringling. And illustration is all about visual communication. It's about letting the quilt speak for itself. The, the viewer should be able to get the story by looking at the artwork without needing to read the artist statement. The artist statement is an enhancement to what the visual design is. And so that's what I try to accomplish with a lot of my quilts. But most of the people who are in the quilt world come from craft backgrounds or they're just, you know, they come directly to quilting. They don't have this sidetrack through professional artwork or freelance graphic design or fine art that I come from. So a lot of the other quilts that I see and the, a lot of the other quilters that I know, they don't have that illustration aspect to them. And so I think that visual communication that I deliberately design into my quilts is one of the things that really sets them apart from a lot of other people. Now, one question I like to ask all the quilters I interview is, if you could have one quilting superpower, what would that be and why? A quilting superpower. Oh, goodness. That's a really good one. Uh, I think at this point, you know, I have spent a very significant amount of time optimizing my process. This is the process that I use to make my quilts is something that I have been using since back when I was in high school. And I've just now updated it to, to work on the computer and also now I'm stitching my designs. But the same, the core process, that fused applique process is one that I have been adapting and streamlining and making more efficient for almost two decades now. And there is one, one step in my process that feels like it should be able to be done by a machine that I'm still having to do by hand. And so this, is, this wouldn't necessarily be a superpower that I would have, but if I had a button that I could click to make my template organize itself for cricket cutting, <laughs> it's basically a complex packing problem. <laughs> but so I, that's not the exact answer that you were probably looking for, but I'm very happy. Good enough, good enough. So. Close enough. <laughs> that, feel, that, that one step, just there's no creativity involved. It's just me rotating pieces around on my screen, making them fit into a little rectangle so that the machine can cut them for me. And it's just, it's my least favorite part of the process <laughs> because there's no creativity involved in it. So. <laughs> well, again, thank you so much for taking out the time to speak with me today. Is there anything you'd like to add about Leap of Faith or, or anything else that maybe I haven't asked? Um, is it okay if I mention my Patreon? <laughs> have at it. Okay. So I have been teaching through Patreon. Um, for those of you not familiar with Patreon, it is a, uh, a website that lets me have crowdfunded patronage of the arts. And so the, this process that I've been talking about that I've been working on for 15 years and that I use to make Leap of Faith, um, I have been teaching it. Oh, you know, one month at a time, one lesson per month at a time over the past six months. And the entire thing is now available as videos through Patreon. So if you're interested in learning how to do this process for yourself, the entire thing is available when, when you sign up. Like the first month that you sign up, you get access to my complete post history. And it, yeah, so that, that if, you're, if you want to do this for yourself, Patreon.com slash Kestrel Michelle is how you can look at everything that I've uploaded to this point. Well, what I'm going to do now is go work on my steampunk outfit because I really want to wear one of those top hats and, you know, maybe have the a cosplay. mechanical owl on my shoulder or something like that. <laughs> yeah. So, well, Kestrel, again, congratulations for winning the Equilter.com Master Award for Contemporary Artistry with the debut of the Festival 2021 Judge Show. And everyone be sure to see her quilt and all the winning quilts in Houston from October 28th to 31st this year. Thank you I'll again, Castro. Sounds <laughs> I'm good. I'm going. <laughs> Thanks for having me.